Hi there, I'm Derek Gunther, Senior Application Scientist at Ocean Insight. We all fly to travel long distances, well, except for Whoopi Goldberg and a handful of other people, but those of us who do fly have all noticed our ears popping, going up, and coming back down. We know it's the pressure change with altitude, of course, but have you ever wondered exactly how much it's changing? Have you ever wondered how much oxygen you're getting and if there's any major drop from normal levels? Well, we took the Neofox Optical Oxygen Monitor on a quick flight from Newark to Tampa to answer these questions, and the results were a bit unexpected, but actually very cool. The Neofox system is compact enough to sit on a standard airline tray table, and with a power outlet, surface tablet, and complimentary pretzels, we were all set to monitor ambient air levels. The core Neofox technology uses time-resolved fluorescence to detect partial pressure of ambient oxygen, and the system also has an onboard pressure transducer for total pressure monitoring. Taking a look at the overall results, the first thing to note is that readings could only be taken while power was available, which if you fly off and you know they cut the power below 10,000 feet, and while above 10,000 feet, it's always a flip of a coin. So these readings started a bit into the flight and had some hiccups in the middle of the flight. But check out what's happening here. As expected, the total air pressure and oxygen pressure, of course, both drop as the plane ascends. But then about 10 minutes in, the total pressure stabilizes for a few minutes while we see oxygen levels start to work upwards. There's one more stage where total pressure drops after that, but then the cabin holds that pressure until the plane starts the descent. Notice though that oxygen partial pressure increases during the final cabin pressure drop, showing that the airline is actually compensating for that lost oxygen. The Neofox shows us that at cruising altitude, you are at just below 80% of a standard atmosphere, which is the elevation equivalent of about 7,000 feet or the altitude of Santa Fe. Fun fact, Santa Fe is the highest state capital in the United States. But let's also look at the oxygen levels as a relative percent. We see here that the oxygen levels are increased by several percentage points, which may be important for folks susceptible to low oxygenation. Personally, I had no idea the pressure drop was so notable, nor that it was done in multiple stages, nor that they were back pumping oxygen into the cabin to help maintain relative levels. If you've got a similar idea for a unique or interesting Neofox application, let us know at www.oceaninsight.com.